In this video, you'll see how Amazon CloudWatch Anomaly Detection applies machine learning algorithms to help you continuously analyze system and application metrics, determine a normal baseline, and surface anomalies with minimal user intervention. You can use anomaly detection to isolate and troubleshoot unexpected changes in your metric behavior. In our example, we're going to use anomaly detection to monitor a performance metric on an Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 instance. Before we do that, let's ensure data from the desired instance is being collected. To get started, from the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 dashboard to view the running instances. As you can see, we have three Amazon EC2 Windows instances running, and detailed monitoring is enabled. Detailed monitoring displays monitoring graphs with a one-minute period for the instance for an additional cost. To illustrate how anomaly detection works, we're going to create a baseline of CPU utilization for one of these instances, and then generate an anomaly by increasing the workload on the instance so that its CPU utilization is increased above its normal range. To create the baseline, we'll need to find the instance's CPU utilization metric. We can do this by simply selecting the Monitoring tab on the bottom half of the screen. However, we will use this example as an opportunity to show you how to search for metrics in Amazon CloudWatch. To start, let's copy the instance ID and then navigate to the CloudWatch Metrics page. Select the EC2 metric namespace. Then, select the Per Instance Metrics dimension. Now let's paste in the instance ID to search for metrics associated with the instance with our instance ID. Now that we have filtered the metrics for our specific EC2 instance, we can find the CPU utilization metric we are looking for. Let's select it and then switch to the Graphed Metrics tab to see a visualization of the instance's CPU utilization. In this case, detailed monitoring has already been enabled on the instance, so we can switch to a time period of one minute to get a more granular view of CPU utilization. When you enable anomaly detection for a metric, CloudWatch continuously applies machine learning algorithms to the metrics data to create a model of the metrics expected values. Let's click the icon to enable it now. Once you have enabled anomaly detection, you will immediately see a preview band that is generated using historical data points. This preview band represents the upper and lower limit of normal metric behavior. After several minutes of analysis, the machine learning model has what it needs to generate the anomaly detection band and takes over from that point on. In this case, the band won't noticeably change. You can specify a number of standard deviations that CloudWatch uses along with the model to determine the normal range of values for the metric, where a higher number of standard deviations produces a thicker band of normal values. Let's reduce the number of standard deviations the band encompasses from 2 to 0 0.2. When you narrow the band, you make anomaly detection more sensitive to changes in values. As many of the peaks in CPU utilization are outside the expected value range, we've probably narrowed the band too far. Let's widen the band a bit by changing the number of standard deviations to 0.7. That looks about right. Click Edit Model to see some additional changes you can make to the anomaly detection model. Here, you can exclude specific time ranges from the initial training model from which the expected values are derived, or specify time zones to account for daylight savings time if you need to. You can also delete the model if you want to remove anomaly detection from the metric. In this case, let's cancel the edit and return to the model. Once you've configured anomaly detection on a metric, you can create an alarm to alert you when an anomaly is detected. The first step is to specify the metric and conditions. In this case, let's set the alarm to trigger when the CPU utilization is greater than the anomaly detection band we configured. 
The next step is to configure the actions you want the alarm to take when the condition has been met. In this case, we will select a simple notification service or SNS topic for the alarm, which will send an email to an email address we have already subscribed to the SNS topic. SNS also supports other subscriptions options, such as AWS Lambda. Next, let's give this alarm a name. Finally, review the settings and create the alarm. Now, let's test the alarm by significantly increasing the instance's CPU utilization. To do that, we will return to the EC2 and connect to the instance. Here, we'll use an application to increase CPU activity on the instance. Now that we've significantly increased CPU utilization, let's go back to CloudWatch to see how the new activity is reflected in the metric. Refreshing the view, you can see that the recent activity for the CPU has exceeded the upper limit of the anomaly detection band. Now let's check our email to see if the alarm was triggered. Here, you can see the notification that was generated by the alarm we set. You can also add this metric to a dashboard to make it easier to monitor. First, let's name this graph and then add it to an existing dashboard. Now you can keep an eye on anomalies on a dashboard, where you can monitor other important operations information. You've just seen how Amazon CloudWatch Anomaly Detection applies machine learning algorithms to help you continuously analyze system and application metrics, determine a normal baseline, and surface anomalies with minimal user intervention. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.